National University of Nigeria, my brothers and sisters here on your own as a student and you as a student have no business with the lecturers. If it is 8 o'clock, it is 8 o'clock for them. They don't do African time. Faculty of Management Sciences, Faculty of Law. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys things to consider or things to know, what to bear in mind when you are coming to National Open University of Nigeria. But before that, hi and welcome to my channel my name is nonye if this is your first time here on this channel i share videos about national open university of nigeria i review products and then i do a bit of lifestyle vlogs so please check out my other videos i'm sure you're going to find something interesting to keep you with that being said let's just get straight into today's video The first thing to note about National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that the school is a full-time study. It is not a part-time study. 90% of people think that this school is a part-time study, maybe because their lectures are basically weekends, and that's because people who are going to the school are workers. You don't expect them to leave their jobs just because they want to attend lectures on a weekday. So they usually leave it for weekends, whereby most people are free so that they are able to attend these lectures. But National Open University of Nigeria is a full-time study and not a part-time study. The second thing to note about National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that we do not know our lecturers. The lecturers have no business with you as a student and you as a student have no business with the lecturers. Where will you even see them? The school is online. They don't have lectures. The only thing is they have tutorial centers whereby they guide you. So that tutorial centers is just to like guide you on areas you are finding things difficult. So where do you want to have contact with the lecturer? In any situation whereby you might even have a contact with lecturer is because you are writing projects and then you need a supervisor. So supervisors will just send you their mail. You interact through mails. You might not even see them. Except you are lucky you are given a supervisor that stays in the same city as you are. Then the lecturer can invite you so that you guys can have a conversation or something. But aside that, there is nothing. You have no business with lecturers in National Open University of Nigeria. Another thing to note is the fact that attending lectures is not compulsory. Unlike conventional universities whereby they said you have a certain mark or 30% of your scorecard is for you to attend lectures. If you are not attending lectures, then be sure to have an automatic carryover. In National Open University of Nigeria, there is nothing like that. Attendance of lectures is strictly your choice. And these lectures are just tutorial centers, like I said earlier on. They are there to guide you, direct you in areas you are finding things difficult. So attendance of lectures in the National Open University of Nigeria is not compulsory. The next thing to note about National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that study materials are never fully available in the school. If you register 10 courses, for instance, or 9 courses, the highest amount of um, study materials that will be given to you by the school in hard copies are, let's just say, 4 or 3. In fact, some students collect 1. In my last um, registration, I collected how many? I collected just 3 textbooks. And that is what is being given to you. But the good thing is that all their courses are available online but you know not everybody likes to study online so you can print them out on your own but expecting to collect the full textbooks full study materials from the school library is never possible in fact it's an impossible mission so just note that study materials in hard copies are limited so you might not be given every single thing that you registered for but it is available online. Another thing to note about National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that you can work and learn. You can have your full-time job and still be a student. They afford you the opportunity of learning and still working. So you can have your full-time job, nine to five job, or you can have your side hustle, or you can be a business person and you can still be a student of this school. 
Another thing to consider when coming to National Open University of Nigeria, especially if you are applying for a direct entry, you must have an upper credit. If you have anything lesser than that, you won't be given a direct entry. You have to go and start from 100 level. I know direct entry could either be 200 level or 300 level. But if you have a lower credit or you have a pass, you are going to start from 100 level. They will never give you 200 level, except on rare cases, which I have not heard. But if you do not have an upper credit, just be sure to go and start from 100 level. Another thing to note about National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that application to the school are online. Every single thing you need to do are online. Starting from application to the school, um, doing your registration, uploading your credentials, printing your receipts, payments at the bank, every single thing is online. So don't let anyone scam you. And if you are confused about a particular course that you want to study in the school i would advise that you go to the school to get the proper accredited courses so that you don't make mistakes during your applications another thing to note when coming to national open university of nigeria is the fact that you are on your own there is nothing like let's go in group let's go and have discussions in group let's say when it comes to you studying you can decide to do that in group but when it comes to the school in particular you are standing all by yourself your applications it is you when you have issues with the school it is you there's nothing like let's say i missed a particular course or a particular course we had issues with it let's go in group and go and um, see the school rector or let's go and lay our complaints you are on your own no nobody is there to listen to you in fact if you are able to even gather students like the last time they increased school fees um i heard that some states were protesting against it um other states have already paid their school fees and for other states to have paid there is nothing you can do about that so you are strictly all by yourself you are a one-man person at national open university of nigeria Another thing to consider, which I feel is really very important, if you are planning to come to this school and do exam malpractice, hmm, I pity you because if you are caught, you are going to miss four semesters. In some cases, three semesters. So let's say you are in 100 level and then you are caught for malpractice in 100 level first semester. You are going to miss 100 level second semester, 200 level first semester, 200 level second semester when your mates will be in 300 level maybe that's when they're allowing you to um start over again or re-register your courses so you are going to be delayed for like a year or two before you can continue with your studies and let's say you want to abandon it and go to another place it's already published online so once your name is entered it will definitely show that it is for malpractice so desist from my practice if you don't want to miss semesters or if you don't want to be unnecessarily delayed. Another thing to consider if you are coming to National Open University of Nigeria is the fact that you should never be late to an exam hall. Never whatsoever. Don't be late to an exam hall. These people take their time very seriously. That if it is seven o'clock, it is seven o'clock for them. If it is eight o'clock, it is eight o'clock for them. They don't do African time. If you are having exams by eight o'clock, try as much as possible to be there 30 minutes or one hour before time. Because if you come late, a second late, they won't let you into the exam premises. They will shut the gates against you. If you like, let your father be boring. These people don't care and that's why they usually release two draft exam timetable before the main timetable in case you have issues let's say they release the first draft and maybe there is a course that you are offering that is not on the timetable you make your complaints and then it's being added or let's say two courses are clashing at the same time they are going to readjust it but if you do not do that, if you do not lay any complaints, at the time this draft was released, 
then you are going to have automatic carryover so that's why you need to be checking your portal constantly to be sure that everything is intact never whatsoever if you did not get anything i said here never be late to an exam hall because it is at your own detriment another thing to note about national Open university of nigeria is the fact that their exams are in two parts we write computer-based exam and then pen on paper now for the cbt exam is for 100 level and 200 level and for gst all gst courses are written computer based but for 300 level 400 level and law students their papers are pen on paper so our exams are in two parts computer based exams and then um pen on paper and finally we have eight different departments slash faculty for the undergraduate studies which is faculty of agriculture faculty of education faculty of arts Faculty of Management Sciences, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Social Sciences, Faculty of Sciences, and Faculty of Health Sciences. You can visit their website at www.nowonline.net.studentsportal for further inquiries and further information. Or in case you have further questions for me, Please leave it in the comment section below or you have any video you want to see me make for you guys please share with me in the comment section and be sure that i will do that thank you for watching once again and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys